One after another, Palestinians are leaving their homes inside Ain al Halwe. The refugee camp in southern Lebanon is now a war zone. Three days of fighting between rival factions has created a humanitarian crisis. We risk our lives to leave the camp just to buy food. There are no vegetables, apart from potatoes and biscuits. There are also no health services. The wounded and the sick are being evacuated. But it's dangerous. Even ambulances are coming under fire. The fighting is worse than the last round a month ago. It has spread to many neighborhoods. We don't know what to do. Street battles are raging in the narrow alleyways of a camp where at least 60,000 people live in less than two square kilometers. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah movement is responsible for security inside the camp. It's fighting a number of groups who call themselves the Muslim youth. The latest round of battles was sparked by the assassination of a senior commander of the Fatah movement and demands for his assassins to be brought to justice. But Fatah officials are now accusing the Muslim youth of trying to control the camp. Outbreaks of violence are common in a camp known for its lawlessness. And life, for most people here, has been one of misery. Humanitarian aid is being blocked and mediation efforts have so far failed to implement a ceasefire. Who is benefiting from this fighting? The only outcome is displacement. Why should we be displaced again? None of these factions represent us. There is fear among a stateless people of a major military showdown, and it wouldn't be the first. Palestinian camps have been destroyed in violence in recent decades. Unlike previous rounds of battles in late July, fighting is no longer confined to certain neighborhoods. It's spreading, and people trapped inside say nowhere is safe. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Ain al Halwi, Southern Lebanon.